so sad, so sad. That is kind of funny. That I don't like the, the referees' jerseys, or I keep saying jersey shirts, so definitely look different. Definitely because the Spurs are, you know, a darker color. Obviously, the Nets are a darker color. I don't know if they're the same color as they are now. I haven't really noticed the referees' colors changing, but that's kind of cheap. They kind of have similar colors, I guess, even though black is not the same thing as gray, but even if you're just, you know, looking really quickly in the heat of a basketball game, you maybe make that mistake. That's a good one. Oh my goodness, that's so embarrassing too. I feel really bad actually doing this because I couldn't imagine the embarrassment that some players would feel after this stuff like this, especially in front of, you know, not only in front of obviously your teammates, the players, but 20,000 people in, in the stadium and obviously the millions of people at home. Uh, that's kind of nerve-wracking, not gonna lie, but that's also kind of a funny one. Yo, okay, this clip is actually one of Dwayne Wade when he was on the Chicago Bulls. Wow, I almost, like, forget that happened. That was before even Cleveland D-Wade, wasn't it? I think, yeah, because his first stop after Miami, you know, he left Miami, was uh, Chicago, I think, right? And then after that was Cleveland, and then back to Miami, wasn't it? Wow, that, that also feels like kind of forever ago. Anyways, uh, we're going to see, I guess, what happens. Um, D-Wade. D-Wade, I don't know. Maybe, like, a, a, again, like, he was never a really great shooter, so maybe a, 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 a I don't know, a, a wide-open layup miss, or maybe he airballs a free throw, or maybe he flops or something. I don't know. Flopping is funny. That's definitely my favorite ones to watch. Uh, they're against Washington. Oh, okay, it is a flop. <laughs> he gets, uh, I guess, back screened by someone and didn't see him there, but he probably did actually see him there and noticed. You can see, you can tell when players, like, do that sort of, like, oh, I, I didn't see you when they, like, they flop their head backwards. Definitely, I think he noticed that guy was there, sort of backed up into him and did a little head flop. That's, that's actually kind of funny. Next clip, sorry, these are kind of uh, small and short. These are kind of more just, like, little, like, Literally like 10 second clips. I can't find any like longer ones or anything like that. So I'm kind of over explaining them to try to flong the video out a little bit. So I'm sorry, that's not an interesting. Um, but the next clip is of uh, OG Ananobi and Serge Ibaka on the Raptors. So a couple years ago, maybe like two years ago, maybe even a year ago. I'm not entirely sure. I kind of, I think it's two years ago, right? I think the last time Serge Ibaka was on Toronto was two, about two years ago. I guess we can sort of go ahead and see uh, what happens. Oh, it's a two-player one, so maybe they just like run into each other. Oh, they're playing Portland, okay. And <laughs> they're setting like a double screen, but they're like hooked onto each other. But I don't know if it's Serge Ibaka won't let go. Of, I think it is Serge Ibaka won't let go. Oh, Jananovi, so they're just like, they almost look like they're stuck together. That's kind of funny. Does that happen? You said double screens. I don't think you do that, right? You don't hook your teammate, right? Unless I'm dumb. I've never noticed that before. Is that what you're actually supposed to do when you're sitting like double screens like that? Why is Sergi Baco holding him? <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. It's kind of cute. Definitely some some good team chemistry, you know, camaraderie. Definitely pretty cute. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, uh, we have one year now of uh, Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma on the Lakers. What was this one? I'm trying to think. He's definitely have done some very funny stuff on the Lakers. And I'm not saying that because he's like a bad basketball player, but he is like a funny guy. You know what I mean? Super talented though, but I have no idea. He looks kind of young. Or actually, maybe not. I don't remember actually if Kyle Kuzma had like a bunch of tattoos when he first got in the NBA. I don't think he did. So this might be even like last year's Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma, maybe I Let's find out. Um, so they're against the Clippers. Oh, I know this one. Yeah, he pushes LeBron. Yeah, okay. Okay. I do. Man, th God, this was all over Twitter when this happened. People were, like, trying to make LeBron jokes of, like, how slow and old he was and blah, blah, blah. He needed the, the help of Kyle Kuzma to get over there. Jesus. That's risky, though. Why would you even shove LeBron like that? Well, I guess he probably didn't even notice. He probably just saw it was a team shoved him over there which technically i guess he's like helping him to a certain degree but jeez man i mean I, I i would hope that he didn't notice it was lebron if he did know it was lebron and also shoved him like that like that's that's pretty ballsy not gonna lie i would i would i definitely would not do that not so ever that's yeah you could injure him too like that's that was actually 
wasn't gonna stoop down enough. Oh, now we have uh, Dwight Howard on the Atlanta Hawks. Oh my god. Don't even ask me. Maybe like 2015? Maybe. No, actually, no. Later than that. Well, actually, I don't know. When was Atlanta Dwight Howard? I have no idea. I don't remember. Um, geez, this could be a whole lot of stuff. I'm gonna guess maybe like a, like a flop. Dwight Howard's, I think he's kind of known for flopping. I'm gonna guess it's a flop. Um, let's see. They're going up against OKC. Gets the pass. Oh. Cl classic Butterfingers. Classic, classic Butterfingers. Oh, that's what the cat... Oh, okay, so that's what Paul Millsap and Cal Corver. Man, I forgot Dwight was on this team. He looks so big, too. Like, this is, like, before, like, Dwight, like, really got into, like, like, athletic shape. This is when he's still trying to be, like, big boy, you know, Dwight Howard, like Orlando Magic, Dwight Howard. This is, yeah, before he got into, like, some really good athletic shape, but that's some butterfingers. That's pretty funny. Uh, man, I, I feel like it would be super hard to grip the ball like that, especially when the ball is getting, like, flipped and flown around. I would jam my fingers all the time when I would play basketball, even if, if I'm just doing, like, a like a shoot around with myself. I always tend to, to, to jam my fingers when I, like, a rebound off the backboard or it hits off the rim the funny way and it gets right back at you and just jams your fingers. Oh my god, that would suck, but I think it just had some butter fingers there. That's kind of funny. Okay, we're just going to do a couple more. Uh, this one is actually kind of exciting because it is <laughs> Steph Curry. I know, Steph Curry shot in a full. Who would have thought? Um, I'm surprised I didn't see a lot of like JaVale McGee and things like that. Maybe, again, if you guys really like this, we could do maybe like an all-time one or even a more, uh, I guess, better, funnier one. Maybe, I don't know if I could find them, but uh, these are just some random ones that I found. And this one, it's Steph Curry. So, God, what does Steph Curry do bad? Oh, you know what? I th I can guess. It's probably when Steph Curry, like, uh, uh, like rim checks a dunk, you know, he misses the dunk or maybe he goes for a dunk and he ends up messing up or stuff like that. I remember one time he went up for a dunk and he like slipped and fell. Maybe it's that. I'm, I'm assuming it's probably that. Let's, I guess, find out. Okay, no, it's not. It's something completely different. I don't understand what happened there. So Draymond passes the, the ball to Kevin Durant. Oh, Steph Curry had his arm wrapped under Kevin Durant's arm and made it look like it was a foul. But it's not because it was his own teammate. I guess that's true. You can't foul your own teammate. That's so weird. I guess they made it look like it was, I guess, one of the Utah Jazz players. That's actually kind of smart. Players should use that tactic a lot more. Why is, why does, <laughs> why does Steph Curry have his arm there? No idea, but I, I guess it, it, it tends to work out, I guess. Um, we have one here of, of Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis, uh, this one I'm going to assume an air ball free throw. I think he used to do that. Or maybe like when he would like take those like 15 second long, 20 second long free throw attempts. Maybe it's one of those. Oh, jeez. Let's see. so hard trying to make like a like a 
style Javim Aki plays with now than he did back in the days when he was with like uh, the Wizards or the Denver Nuggets even like he is just definitely a different type of player now which is really great to see I mean the dude is a, a three-time champion now and Olympic gold medalist like big ups to, to Javim Aki he definitely turned out to have a really good career which is amazing um let's see this this one is a clip of him being on the the very old Washington Wizards Jeez, this must be like what 2011 maybe I I'm just guessing let's see um, right now it looks like he's about to be on a fast break so maybe like a blown layup or a blown dunk I'm assuming let's see or a loose ball Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you, love you.